What's going on, world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today, we'll be taking a look at this week's forecast, seeing what stars have in store for us. So, let's get into it. As always, shout out to all the Libra celebrating birthdays this week. Pay close attention to this energy as it will be with you all year long. There's some good movements this week, and uh, let's dive in. The first place I want to start is just bringing your attention to that Saturn is stationing direct, all right? And with energy, guys, some of you can be feeling that already, which in the sense of Saturn going direct is going to be a likeness of energy or less emphasized Saturnian energy inside and more like, okay, I'm not reflecting no more. I want to get shit done. Where I'm getting that is, I believe anyway, if you really hold Gemini Brown in esteem of one of your top astrologers, then what that one thing that that says about you is that you are like a free thinker. In this position, I am, you know, people come for messages or kind of what to be told what to do, but I really, uh, intent of mine is to just guide, not tell you, okay? So, and and I think most of you feel that energy, but in all honesty, you know, you're going to have those people who who do come in there, you know, very logical with it or like, okay, let me not do it till this day. And I'm just like, yo, this is energy. And energy, if if I could be real with you, is it's not a complete set formula to it. It'll be different for everybody. But like I said, I think people, the reason I'm bringing emphasis on this is because I'm very aware from a a collective standpoint that this is the age of information. There's an overload of information. And, you know, with that, you could be missing the mark. You could be hearing, I, I could be saying a lot or I could be saying nothing. It's not about that. It's about what you take from it, what's being said to you, what's talking to your internal spirit, okay? Um, so I want to be aware, and I'm I'm getting more conscious or with my message and how I want to convey it. So I'll just throw that in. If you shout out to anyone who's on my Patreon, um, we're we're working behind the scenes to get some things going. And for those of you, feel free to join me on Patreon, as I will be. Uh, extending my teachings in a diversified way that doesn't uh, pigeonhole me towards, you know, particular standards with, you know, these platforms and stuff like that. So join my community if you, you know, truly interested because we've got a lot of good game coming through. And like I said, I think that'll also, so also what I'm getting with that, there's a need to kind of, uh, not necessarily be mindful of the information you're taking in, but just that you're you're understand or you're utilizing it correctly. And this is for anybody who may be watching me. I don't that's the thing about YouTube. You don't know anybody watches you. There could be people who do what I do watching me, which it probably is, right? If you're in a position where you influence others, I would suggest not succumbing to the need or uh, not need, but rather the demand to keep producing, particularly in the realm of information. I, Gemini Brown, don't teach you anything that doesn't come from within or the place that I want it to come from. Okay. So at a deeper level, like these are some of the things I want to veer off and talk about, you know what I'm saying? But it's all about how you title shit here. So this is With that, you can accumulate spiritual ego off information. But if you don't do the work, that energy can work work against you. Okay? So, say all that to say this. With Saturn going direct, you know, uh, Mars going to retrograde and being in this interesting position with Neptune, which we're going to talk about, (laughs) you're really going to need to kind of wake up a little bit or tune into what you're taking in and make sure you're using it in the correct manner or letting it work for you and not against you. 
okay? So be aware of this Saturn energy coming direct and allow yourself to break free, break free, okay? And we're in the waning phase of the, the cycle as well. So this is a great, great time to walk away. And then this week's energy further supports that. But let's start with... Let's start with Jupiter too. Let's go to Jupiter. Jupiter is retrograding here back at one degree Aries. This is, of course, an Aries degree. So there is a vibrancy with this Jupiter. There, uh, for some, it can be in a really good pos position to provide the opportunity you need. So the best way to say this is let this energy find you working or being or taking action. Okay, now Mars here in Gemini, ruler of Aries, in a square with Neptune, and this energy, this is energy is a lot. I want to tell y'all. I think I may have said this in weeks past. But I'm allowing myself to multitask a lot more with this energy. And in the sense of Libra, in the sense of Libra, like, okay, this is how I want to do it. All right, let me adjust. Let me, like, take a break or you know, take my foot off the gas a little bit, gain back some balance. You can adequately from there judge, like, okay, what works? What works? And and I got to tell you, like, like... <laughs> I just know that it it's good that I don't follow that whim a lot because with Mars here in Gemini, particularly into Neptune, we can become mentally scattered and overwhelmed. And this also extends to what I was saying before. Be careful about what, what you're taking in, what you're doing, what you're paying attention to. Make sure you're really understanding it. Um... There can be a willfulness here. So with Mars, Mars here deposited in Jupiter, and then all the other aspects going on, this can give a strong charge towards our illusions. This can be tricky as hell. Okay, so I guess my advice is like you'll want to see where Lib Libra is in your chart, right? That's the relationship house. That's where this conjunction is going to be happening. You want to see where Jupiter is and just check for where you may be. Uh, I want to say that it may be too good to be true. It may be too easy. Okay. Question certain happenings, particularly like, let's say within others, and I'm going to get to it. Uh, you know, for elaborate on that, but there can be a a grandiosity towards our desires and uh, a real, actual willing delusionment. We can willingly like follow that energy, but just like with anything in spirit, once when you do that, it's like oh, shit. I'm a fool. You got to learn from it. So now you have some wisdom. It's just a matter of okay, I was bugging <laughs> for the. For that time, but okay, now I see where I was wrong. Let me correct this. So you know there can be there can be some wisdom here found, but I guess what I'm telling was like, yeah, don't be too, don't follow the illusion too much, you you know. But it's setting you up for a disillusionment. So at this time, there's a there is um the energy is, is masculine energy wants stimulation, um. It needs focus, though. So if you let Mars here just run amok, particularly with this square, it, it may be like, damn, I thought this was going good. But when you step back and look at it, it'd be like, nah, why did I do it like that? Uh, so tap into tap into Venus, tap into Libra, where others can help. Ask for advice. Ask for advice. Um See where others others can help you, all right? And even if it's like, because there's an energy, of, especially a few weeks ago in the retrograde, it was like, others may just not understand and kind of like uh, give you criticism that, that deflates your dreams. This week, this that can be true, but this week you'll want to have the discernment of like, damn, should I listen? Is this 
is this what I need to hear? So I'm giving you that that extra insight, like, yeah, possibly. You could possibly not be seeing it correctly, especially if you feel very, very strong about it. Um, so pay attention to that. And, yeah, just how, how your energy is going. So all in all, this is building towards how I feel like these next few weeks or building towards something where one Saturn, you know, out of this retrograde is going to be the ability to put two and two together, to right, left, right, left, get on flow how we want to if if we if we haven't been there, okay? But to, to get, because the Mars is assisting you, but I'm telling you this week and in this position it's in, you got to rein in on it. And it's receiving some assistance from Sun and Venus, and that can just come in the form of others letting you know, you know, where your limitations lie and all of that, Okay. Sun and Venus making their conjunction. Oh, this is, this is, it's going to provide a harmonious effect towards the week. Okay. We, what you'll really want to do, and I can only speak for myself. This Venus and Libra transit for me has been a check. Now, Venus is home. It's in a home sign. It's balance. I've definitely, like, it's, this transit for me has made me more, I, I've just made it a point to love on myself a little bit, a little bit more, okay, just to, I guess, make some balance or whatever, because I know myself, I'm a giver, I'm a giver, and you know, so, where for some, where it's like, okay, maybe I need to be connecting and stuff, I, I took this energy, I was like, mm, mm, pour into me for a little bit, and it's, and it's been great, okay, so, I feel like overall, this Venus and Libra been a check-in, a check-in of how you're feeling in these areas and where your balance lies, where you may need some more. And we're starting off this week with, with Moon and Cancer making, making a square to those energies. And I feel as though this can be an indicator of, it's like out with the old, in with the new. Life works differently for everybody. So I think for some, the writing may be very much on the wall, stemming from that full moon in Aries of like, let it go, let it go. I'm going to talk about this. Like, one thing, as a spiritual person who, you know, like a lot of the spiritual journey, y'all, synchronicity. A spiritual person. In times I've let things go. Because I'm attuned to my spiritual vision, I've been able to see where the universe has giving me the, the, you were right, or good job. As some would say, it blessed me afterwards, okay? This, this can be a real effect. That type of scenario can be playing out. So this new cycle, this new cycle, Venus and, and Sun, you don't look at it in the sense of like, I need someone new here for this to be, no, no, it's a it's a start of your like a, a new cycle of relating towards others in a different way, possibly claiming back some some power in partnerships, okay, or just personal balance, however you see fit. And that may be, I'll give an example of a mom. So a mom may need to consciously like make room uh, for personal balance. Outside of the kids, you know, uh, and that can entail having other friends who are moms, but doing stuff without the kids, you know, that could in entail discover going back to a, a part of you, you know, that you were more in tune with before assuming this new role as, as a mom or a parent. So look at this Sun Venus cycle as a a new way of orienting or relating towards others, which inevitably at some point, if you're looking in a romantic sense, it'll 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 bring that in. Okay. Um, but I do feel like early in this week, um, you'll want to look at the moon's movements from from um, cancer and then into Leo and see what's what's being presented. Um Looking for ways of reclaiming some, uh, you know, power or or balance. So, in in terms of Leo, that might be doing what you need to do. 
right, for you, okay? Or that may be exerting some individuality or creative expression in some manner, okay? Really, really, really interesting week, all right? So, park it here. I hope everyone heard me. <laughs> all right, uh, this is my interpretation of this week's forecast. Feel free to chime in. Let me know what's going on in your world, what you think. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Check out my book, Astrology of the Matrix. Like I said, join the community uh, on Patreon. And until next time, peace.